As you know, this Arduino Mega is operating at 5 volts. And our LoRa node here, the RF M96, only works at 3.3 volts. So I, I either use a logic level shifter to shift the 5 volts to 3.3, or I just convert this whole board to a 3.3 volts operation. I will do that by having some tweaks. First is I have to remove this fuse here that is connected to the USB port. My idea here is that the USB port should be able to supply only the 5 volts here but not on the entire board. After removing that fuse, the next thing to do is to lift this pin. As you see here, this pin now is lifted. So I use a soldering iron to lift this and a tweezer. And that's the only pin that I will connect directly, this one. As you see, it's not connected there anymore. I will jump a wire going to the 5 volts of the USB or here. This is the this is connected to the 5 volts of the USB as well. So I can jump it there and then I can now remove all the connection of the 5 volts of the USB port to the whole board. Next is to replace the 5 volts regulator with a 3.3 regulator as well. I realized that I don't need to do that. I can just remove this regulator and just fed everything here on the 3.3 regulator that you already have here. I now remove the 5 volts regulator. So what we'll do now is we connect the input of this of this uh, V in to the directly to the 3.3 volts regulator and that can be easily done. Now as you see here, this is the input coming from this diode. This diode is connected to this V in. So the V in will go here on this diode and then this will go on the input of the 5 volts regulator. But is that instead of going to the 5 volts regulator, we will put this this 5 volts level the this voltage here on the input of the 3.3 volts regulator and then short the output of the 5 volts the 3 volts that every IO that we have now is operating in 3.3 volts. The supply now will be here in V in which would be around 5 volts only so that the, the loss on the 3.3 volts will not be that huge. Instead putting this module here I can actually move that here in this location. Because this pin is also 3.3 and, and this is also 5 which is now 3.3 and this one is ground. And then the other pins are now closed on the pins that I have to use. So I will just move that here. As you see now, I already connected the supply of the USB to UART chip to the 5 volts coming from the USB. And also this 5 volts coming from the USB is also connected on the diode. On this diode which will be the V in for this 3.3 volts regulator. So our chip will still be powered by 3.3 and then this will still be powered by 5 volts which is required. I now remove that short and, and now what I need to do is to connect the 5 volts to the input of the 3.3 volts regulator but that should not be connected on the 5 volts output of the original 5 volts regulator here. So I need to lift that above. As you see here, when I'm trying to lift it, it was broken. So I will still proceed and see if it still works. No, it's not working anymore. You have to replace it. Now I have here the replacement for my 3.3 volts regulator. Okay. I also put some Captain tape there so that this part will not be soldered. Only this two part and this tab. Now we have the regulator replaced so I can just, I can now short this pin, this floating pin here, this floating one, you see it's floating, it's not connected on the pad, to the 5 volts here. Now I'm actually done with the modification. So this one now, the, three, the supply of the 3.3 volts regulator is now directly connected to the USB port. And I shorted now the 5 volts the 3.3, so everything will be now at 3.3 volts level. This is a little bit complicated because I need to ensure that the three the 5 volts coming from the USB will only go on the on this one and this one. But the trace is actually everywhere. 
the 5 volts is directly connected here and here and on the other capacitors. So I need to ensure that it's only 3.3 that's going inside in this at mega. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. By the way, I will just still connect this module here below. So you need to catch up on my LoRaWAN video. Bye-bye.